a lot of players seeing their first NBA action. Richard, do you remember your rookie debut? 100%. Do you want to know why, Ryan? <laughs> Please do tell. Because I still have the box score to my rookie debut. And ever since then, when somebody gave me a framed box score, I kept it because it's just a beautiful thing to have is your first game. So anytime I have a rookie on my team, I take the box score from him, I hand it to him, and I'm like, hey, frame it, remember this, this is your first NBA box score. And what did that box score have to say about your rookie game? It said that I scored like 11 points, and we beat the Pacers, and Jalen Rose had 40 on us, but that was my rookie year, and we led the Eastern Conference from start to finish. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. The two-way threats of George and Leonard in the wing pair. Robert Covington is out there with Mason Plumley, And it's red hot in at the point guard position. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy. But that had a high degree of difficulty. Pass to red hot. From outside the arc. They get it back. Here's Plumley. Always a nice way to start. Mason Makes Plumlee. his first one. Those are some hustle points, really bonus points when you put in a miss. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. The Clippers have gone one for three so far. Here's George. And it's good. Paul Two points. George. He can do damage from just about anywhere on the floor. When you let George get position inside like that, he's guaranteed to finish. So what do you think the most important thing for a young team like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. The ball's knocked loose. Outside, green. Shot clock at six. Outside for Porter. Kept alive by Houston. Okay, it's taking them a moment to find their rhythm. Opening the game with some uneven one for four shooting. Here's Red Hot. That one falls. Number He's 18. now one for three. Now for MP, remember this guy was booed on draft night. He came into the league with the fans against him. And I think MP is using that as fuel. No question, you have to. It's a tough spot to come into. But MP is going to try to win over the fans. Making the floater look this smooth is not yeah. as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. The Clippers have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Pass to Plumley, And that one makes Mason him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Assisted. And when defenders Number are lurking, 18. that bounce pass can be the only way to get it through. Martin outside. Porter with it. In his last outing, 10 points for him. Martin, the pass to Green. Off target from outside. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard on the wing. And the layup falls. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? We've got 155 left in the first. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Martin finds Shangun. Outside Porter takes the three. Rebound by the Clippers. This game following their win against the Rockets. Oh man, they were in total control. Really doing anything they wanted. <laughs> it was that level of dominance. It really is fun seeing an offensive function like a well-oiled machine. Number I'll 18. be interested to see if they can keep doing this. Their Sorry. offense the is looking like a well-oiled machine getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Man, Houston calls timeout. And for Paul George, playing close here. to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And What's back it? with the Pacers, he twice. Substitution on the court. Shooting for LA. Ivica Zubats. At the line for one. So it's the Rockets now. 
A 12-point game. Next up, they'll face the Timberwolves in Minnesota. They're kicking off a four-game road trip. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Robert Covington is out there with even to Zubac. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then there's Paul George. And it's red hot in at the shooting guard. To the wing, right side. And the jam by Covington. Yeah, showcasing his length right there. No, love watching Covington leap up and finish off alley -oops. Here's Christopher. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Pass to Shangun. Green for three. Bearing his second of three attempts. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Here's Red Hot. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Pass to Christopher. Smith outside. Just four to shoot. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. Look at how the game is First played today. Foul. Teams are looking for length, line, versatility, boy, and of course rockets. shooting. And Smith Jr. Jr. has all of that and more. For two. And he knocks down the first one. Well, you mentioned the shooting grant. Smith Jr. hitting 42% from beyond the arc last season. B.A., I mean, among his many skills, that one probably stands out the most. But I also love his potential at the other end. He really has those tools to be a lockdown defender one through five. And the Clippers making a change here. Plumlee's checked in. Pass to Green. Three-pointer. Red Hot pulls it in. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Here's Covington, and there's another one for the Clippers. Oh, stepping in. Just a quality shot selection there by Covington. Got a piece of it. Here's Green. And between Jason Kidd and LeBron James, RJ, you played with some incredible passers in your day. What was that like, running alongside those guys? Well, it's just amazing, Jason Kidd, LeBron James. These guys can get you the ball when you don't even know that you're open. That's what's fun. And it's even more fun kind of sitting back and watching them and seeing how they read the floor. Two of the greatest to ever do it. Free throw good. Green. The first ever pick out of the G League Ignite. Jalen Green created his own pathway to the NBA. Selected second overall in 2021. Gordon, he's checked in for Westbrook. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Pass to Plumlee. And he drops it in from the low post. Plumlee's got six. Just tremendous speed for a big man. He uses it to his advantage to get the easy bucket. That's tipped. Gordon with a steal. And it's the Clippers on the break. Here's Red Hot. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Personal foul. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensive. Houston making some changes. Garuba comes in for Smith. And it's Porter Jr. in for Christopher. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Covington. And you oftentimes hear about players at peace with their game. Well, that is Eric Gordon, a knockdown shooter with physicality. Plenty of room for that in today's NBA. Here's Porter. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. And I'll tell you what, they the rebounded the ball tremendously well. Ooh, took him no time Eric at all Gordon. to get that one. Over his career, Kawhi has become a willing passer. One of his many improvements since being drafted in 2011. And Gordon, the seventh pick back in 2008, Grant. Never quite an all-star, but he's been an impact player at times in his career. Well, you know, B.A., I mean, he's been a key contributor to some quality teams. And when his shot gets going, you can be in trouble. Porter's shot is off. 
Just an ugly show from him offensively. You have no way to describe it, just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Good, on the bucket. 13 points in the game. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Going all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. I love it, making their own luck. You don't want to let off the gas with the lead. Continue to make things happen. And here we go, the Clippers on the move. George's shot wow, is good. George. And so far, this there's been tremendous two. cohesion Number offensively 18. this quarter. Houston calls timeout. The call. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out, losing to the Clippers. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. While well, they weren't fighting through screens, their closeouts and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. Both teams will make substitutions. And that concludes the first half. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Your Rockets 20. The Clippers 46. second half we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two so far it's been a runaway well the Rockets shooting a poor 25 percent for this game so far Porter Jr. and Green are the backcourt set Smith plays the four with Shingun at center and it's Martin in at the small forward position that's the five to begin the second half for Steven Silas knock loose and stolen by Leonard for three, George knocks down the triple. Oh, George. George has got seven points. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Martin outside. Pass to Green from downtown. On oh, target from range. He's got ten. And it's encouraging to watch Green knock down the triple. Needs to keep doing this. Here's Red Hot. He's guarded by Porter. Here's Red Hot. They grab their own miss. Yep, that one goes. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Here's Porter. And too long on the shot. Los Angeles has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line in this one. They get the rebound. Leonard right side. Goes back up. Count that bucket. Leonard's got his third bucket of the night. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. Porter pass to Martin. Now here's Shangun. He's checked by Plumley. Martin against Leonard. Pass to Porter. Five to shoot. Three-pointer, no good. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the Mason game come Bumbley. to you. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in the live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Allie. Thanks. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Leonard, right side. Here's Red Hot. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. It was working here. Each guy is willing to make the, the next Clippers. pass. For the Clippers, Zubats comes in for Plumlee, and it's Walker. Russell Westbrook in for Kawhi Leonard. Man, there are a lot of insane records in the NBA history books. Which do you think are the most unbreakable, RJ? Well, I've got four off the top of my head. The 100 points by Wilt. I think LeBron James playoff scoring record because a player is going to have to go to like 13 finals and they're going to have to average 25 points a game in order to pass that. And then AC Green, he's got almost 12 games played. Two That's 15 straight seasons. 
And I'd throw Stockton's assist record in there as well. Yeah, no one's catching that because he didn't miss many games either. And it's going to be a three-second call. Houston making some changes. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Shangun. And Tate is subbed in for Smith. Norman Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. Houston has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter. Teams deciding to change it up. Here's man. Pass to Red Hot. The three. And gets it to fall. This is what winning is That's all about. The the Playing your best score. when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, always, we love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this 